What is calderita? Calderita, which comes from the word caldera meaning cauldron, is another example of the many Spanish influences in Filipino cuisine. While similar to afritada and machado in preparation and use of tomatoes, potatoes, carrots, and bell peppers, this hearty beef stew also includes liver spread and shredded cheese to thicken the sauce and chili peppers to add spice. Calderita is traditionally made of goat meat and usually prepared for holidays and special occasions. It's commonly served in parties and get-togethers as an appetizer, pollutant, to accompany beer or hard drinks. Over the years, the dish has evolved into a regular dinner fixture, making use of more accessible meats such as pork, chicken, and beef. What cuts of beef to use for calderitang baka? For best results, use tough, leaner cuts from the front shoulder or the rear muscle which don't have a lot of fat but plenty of collagen-rich connective tissues. I like bottom round for calderita and other braised dishes but chuck, bottom eye, and rump roasts are also great choices. Not only are these meat less expensive, but they also break down into melt-in-your-mouth, richly flavored bites over the low and slow cooking process. Tips on how to make beef calderita Although most supermarkets sell already cut beef stewed meat, I prefer to buy the whole roast and cut it myself. The packaged beef stew meat is usually made up of scraps from various cuts of beef and might cook quite differently. To make slicing the roast easier, freeze for a few minutes until partially firm. Cut into uniform sizes to ensure even cooking and trim off as much of the gristle which can be too tough to chew. Give the beef a nice sear to maximize flavor. I like to briefly pan fry the potatoes and carrots. This simple step helps them hold shape and keep them from falling apart when simmered in the stew. If you want to tone down the spice, Scrape off the seeds and veins of the chili peppers before mincing. Beef calderita with beef cubes simmered to perfect tenderness in a spicy tomato sauce. Chock full of potatoes, bell peppers, and green olives, this classic Filipino stew is hearty, tasty, and perfect for family dinners and special occasions. Ingredients a quarter cup canola oil. Two large potatoes, peeled and cut into two inch cubes. Two large carrots, peeled and cut into two inch cubes. One onion, peeled and chopped. Four cloves garlic, peeled and minced. Two pounds bottom round roast, cut into two inch cubes. Two cups tomato sauce. Two tablespoons tomato paste. Two cups water. 10 Thai chili peppers, minced. Half a cup green olives, pitted. Half a cup liver spread. Half a cup cheddar cheese, shredded. One small green bell pepper, seeded, cored and cut into cubes. One small red bell pepper, seeded, cored and cut into cubes. Salt and pepper to taste. Instructions. In a wide pan over medium heat, heat oil. Add potatoes and carrots and cook until lightly browned. Remove from pot and drain on paper towels. Remove oil from the pan except for about 2 tablespoons. Add onions and garlic and cook until softened. Add beef and cook, stirring occasionally, until lightly browned. Add tomato sauce, tomato paste, water, and chili peppers. Bring to a boil, skimming scum that may float on top. Season with salt and pepper to taste. Lower heat, cover, and cook for about one to one and a half hours or until beef is tender. Add potatoes, carrots, and continue to cook until tender. Add liver spread and cheese, stirring to combine until well distributed. Continue to cook until cheese is melted and sauce is thickened. Add bell peppers and olives cook for another 1 to 2 minutes until tender yet crisp. Serve hot.